Have you ever wondered how anesthesia works or why sometimes it doesn't work as expected? This question has piqued the curiosity of many, from the general public to the medical community. Anesthesia, a cornerstone of modern medicine, is a fascinating and complex field that often leaves us with more questions than answers. Imagine undergoing a surgical procedure without anesthesia. The mere thought is enough to send shivers down your spine. Yet, anesthesia allows us to undergo these procedures with minimal discomfort, making it a crucial part of medical science. It's a seemingly magical concoction that transports us to a world of unconsciousness, free from pain and awareness. But what happens when the magic doesn't work as expected? That's when we step into the intriguing world of anesthesia mysteries. Some of these mysteries are as old as the field itself, while others have emerged with new advancements in medical science. They range from why anesthesia doesn't work on everyone, to why some people wake up during surgery, and even why we can't remember anything after being under anesthesia. Despite the abundant research and technological advancements, these mysteries continue to baffle scientists and anesthesiologists alike. They remind us that anesthesia, while a vital tool, is still an enigma, waiting to be fully understood. This video is a journey into the heart of these mysteries. We'll explore the science behind anesthesia, dive into the depths of 40 of the most perplexing questions, and even venture a look into the future of anesthesia. It's a journey that promises to be as enlightening as it is fascinating, shedding light on the unexplored corners of this essential medical field. So, whether you're a seasoned medical professional, a curious medical student, or someone with a keen interest in the mysteries of the human body, you're in for a treat. We invite you to join us as we unravel the enigmatic world of anesthesia, one mystery at a time. With this in mind, let's dive into the fascinating world of anesthesia. The science behind anesthesia is both intriguing and complex. It's a fascinating journey that takes us back to the mid-19th century, when the first successful public demonstration of ether anesthesia was conducted. This breakthrough paved the way for modern surgery, transforming it from a brutal, often deadly practice into a much safer and more humane one. But what exactly is anesthesia? In the simplest terms, it's a state of controlled, temporary loss of sensation or awareness, which is induced for medical purposes. Anesthesia can be administered in three main ways, general, regional, and local. General anesthesia renders you unconscious. It's used for major procedures like open-heart surgery or brain surgery. A cocktail of drugs, often including a sedative, a painkiller, and a muscle relaxant, is introduced into your bloodstream via an intravenous line, or IV. Then there's regional anesthesia, which numbs a larger part of your body like your lower half during a childbirth. This is typically administered via an injection near a cluster of nerves. And finally we have local anesthesia. This is used for minor procedures like a tooth extraction or stitching a deep cut. It numbs a small specific area of your body and is typically applied directly to the tissue. Regardless of the type, the goal of anesthesia is to block the signals that travel along your nerves to your brain. When these signals are stopped, your brain doesn't register the fact that your body is undergoing something potentially painful. However, anesthesia does more than just numb pain. Depending on the type and dose, it can also induce amnesia, relax your muscles, and even slow your heart rate all to ensure that your body can withstand the stress of surgery. It's important to remember though, that administering anesthesia is a delicate balance. Too little, and you might feel pain or wake up during the procedure. Too much, and it could lead to complications like slowed breathing or a drop in blood pressure. Now that we have a basic understanding of anesthesia, let's explore some of the mysteries surrounding it. One of the most baffling mysteries is why anesthesia doesn't work on everyone. It's a puzzling question indeed. The answer, however, is multifaceted, and it's tied to the complexity of our bodies and the individual differences that make us unique. Firstly, genetics play a significant role. Just as hair color, height, and other physical traits are influenced by our genes, so too is our response to anesthesia. Genetic factors can impact how quickly a person metabolizes anesthetic drugs, meaning that some people might require higher doses to achieve the desired effect. Secondly, underlying health conditions can also alter a person's response. For instance, individuals with certain neurological or metabolic disorders may react differently to anesthetics. Lastly, lifestyle factors such as alcohol or drug use can also influence how an individual responds to anesthesia. In conclusion, the interplay of genetics, health conditions and lifestyle factors can all impact how a person responds to anesthesia. This is just one of the many mysteries that make anesthesia such a fascinating field. 
Another perplexing mystery is why some people wake up during surgery. This unnerving event is known as anesthesia awareness, a rare occurrence where patients regain consciousness during their procedure. Imagine this, you're under the knife, supposed to be in a state of unconsciousness and suddenly you're awake, alert, but unable to move. So, what's the science behind it? Well, it's still a bit of a conundrum. Some theories suggest it could be due to the patient's unique physiology that may metabolize anesthetic drugs differently. Others believe it may be a result of an insufficient dosage of anesthesia due to fear of overdosing. Then there's the psychological component. Stress, anxiety or certain psychiatric conditions might increase the likelihood of this phenomenon. It's a delicate balancing act for anesthesiologists to ensure patients are sufficiently sedated, yet safe. Despite its rarity, anesthesia awareness is a mystery that continues to puzzle medical professionals. Have you ever wondered why we can't remember anything after anesthesia? This is a common question that puzzles many of us, let's delve into it. Anesthesia doesn't just numb your physical sensations, it also affects your brain's ability to form new memories. This is a type of amnesia known as anterograde amnesia. When you're under the influence of anesthetics, your brain's hippocampus, the region responsible for memory formation, slows down significantly. As a result, you're unable to create new memories during the procedure. However, it's not just about forgetting the surgery. Anesthesia can also wipe out memories formed just before the procedure, a phenomenon known as retrograde amnesia. This can be unsettling but it's a temporary effect and memories generally return once the anesthetic wears off. Despite extensive research the exact mechanism of how anesthesia disrupts memory formation is still not fully understood. Anesthesia's interaction with our brain's complex network is intricate and continues to intrigue researchers. The mechanism behind anesthesia-induced amnesia remains one of the field's biggest mysteries. With many more mysteries to uncover prepare for a rapid-fire round. Starting off with mystery number 4. Why does anesthesia cause nausea? This is one of the most common side effects of anesthesia. It's thought to be due to a combination of factors, including changes in blood pressure and the effects of the drugs on the brain and stomach. Moving on to mystery number 5. How does anesthesia affect the brain? Anesthesia works by slowing down brain activity, which leads to a temporary state of unconsciousness. It's not fully understood how this happens, but it's believed to involve changes in the levels of certain chemicals in the brain. Next up, mystery number six. Why do some people have adverse reactions to anesthesia? This can happen for a variety of reasons including allergies to the drugs used, underlying health conditions and genetic factors. It's a complex area of study and an ongoing area of research in the field of anesthesiology. Mystery number seven, can anesthesia lead to long-term memory problems? Some studies suggest a possible link between anesthesia and long-term cognitive changes, particularly in older adults. However, more research is needed to fully understand this connection. On to mystery number eight, why does anesthesia sometimes lead to a sore throat? This is often due to the use of a breathing tube during surgery, which can cause irritation. Mystery number 9. Why do some people experience hallucinations after anesthesia? This is thought to be due to the effects of the drugs on the brain. However, the exact mechanisms are not fully understood. Next, mystery number 10. Can anesthesia affect your mood? Some people report feeling depressed or anxious after anesthesia. This could be due to the physical and emotional stress of surgery, or it may be related to the effects of anesthesia on the brain. Mystery number 11. Why do some people shiver after anesthesia? Shivering is a common side effect of anesthesia. It's thought to be due to the body's temperature regulation being affected by the drugs. Moving swiftly on to mystery number 12. Why does anesthesia sometimes cause a headache? The causes of post-operative headaches are not fully understood, but it could be related to changes in blood pressure, dehydration, or the effects of the anesthesia itself. Mystery number 13. Why do some people have a metallic taste after anesthesia? This is thought to be due to the effects of the drugs on the taste buds but the exact cause is not known. Mystery number 14 Can anesthesia affect your hearing? Some studies have found a temporary change in hearing sensitivity after anesthesia but more research is needed to understand why this happens. And now mystery number 15. Why does anesthesia sometimes cause muscle aches? This can be due to the effects of muscle relaxants used during anesthesia or it could be a result of lying in the same position for a long time during surgery. Mystery number 16. Can anesthesia cause hair loss? While it's not common, some people do report hair loss after surgery. This could be due to the physical stress of surgery or a reaction to the drugs used. We're halfway through onto mystery number 17. Why do some people feel groggy for days after anesthesia? 
This is likely due to the lingering effects of the drugs in the system, but individual factors such as age, overall health, and other medications can also play a role. Mystery number 18. Why do some people have difficulty urinating after anesthesia? This can be due to the effects of the drugs on the bladder and nerves that control urination. Mystery number 19. Why do some people feel cold after anesthesia? This can be due to the drugs affecting the body's temperature regulation, or it could be a result of the cool environment in the operating room. Mystery number 20. Can anesthesia affect your vision? Some people report blurred vision after anesthesia. This could be due to dry eyes, changes in blood pressure, or the effects of the drugs. Mysteries 21 to 40 continue to delve into the intricate world of anesthesia, exploring questions like why some people itch after anesthesia, why some people feel euphoric after anesthesia, how anesthesia affects sleep patterns, why anesthesia can cause constipation, and so many more. These mysteries demonstrate the complexity and intrigue of anesthesia. As we continue to unravel these mysteries, what does the future hold for anesthesia? Well, the possibilities are exciting. As technology advances, so does the potential for anesthesia. We can expect to see more precision in how we administer these drugs, making the process safer and more effective. Imagine smart anesthetics that can adapt to the individual patient's needs, adjusting dosage in real time based on the body's response. This could reduce the risk of complications and improve patient outcomes. Moreover, we might see advancements in non-invasive anesthesia techniques. Imagine being able to undergo a surgical procedure without the need for needles or invasive techniques. There's also the potential for new drugs that could offer the benefits of anesthesia without some of the side effects like nausea or memory loss. Research is also being done to understand why anesthesia doesn't work on everyone, which could lead to personalized anesthetic plans. As we continue to advance in our understanding we can hope to unravel more mysteries and improve the safety and effectiveness of anesthesia.